Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 15 engaging questions about the Holy Bible. Subscribe and like to support us. Share your score in the comments. Join our channel to access exclusive content and support our mission. Let's Question start the one. quiz. Where did David spare Saul's life for the first time? A. In the cave of Engedi. B. On the hills of Gilboa. C. In the wilderness of Ziph. D. Near the brook of Basor. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. First book of Samuel, chapter 24, verses 1 to 4. And it came to pass, when Saul was returned from following the Philistines, that it was told him, saying, Behold, David is in the wilderness of En Gedi. Then Saul took three thousand chosen men out of all Israel and went to seek David and his men upon the rocks of the wild goats. Question 2. What did David do when Nabal initially refused to help him? A. He left peacefully. B. He stole from Nabal. C. He prepared for battle. D. He prayed for guidance. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. First book of Samuel, chapter 25, verses 10 to 13. And Nabal answered David's servants and said, Who is David, and who is the son of Jesse? There be many servants now a days that break away every man from his master. Shall I then take my bread and my water and my flesh that I have killed for my shearers and give it unto men whom I know not whence they be? So David's young men turned their way and went again, and came and told him all those sayings. And David said unto his men, Gird ye on every man his sword. And they girded on every man his sword, and David also girded on his sword. And there went up after David about four hundred men, and two hundred abode by the stuff. Question 3. What did Solomon write besides three books of the Bible, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon? A. Psalms B. Letters to Foreign Rulers C. A History of Israel D. 3,000 Proverbs and 1,005 Songs Time to Think The right answer is letter D. And he spake three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. First book of Kings, chapter 4, verse 32. Question 4. What did Solomon ask to be brought to decide a dispute between two women claiming the same child? A. A sword. B. A scale. C. A witness. D. A scroll. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. First Book of Kings, Chapter 3, Verse 24 Question 5 What did King David say about walking through the valley of the shadow of death? 
A. He would fear no evil. B. He would pray for strength. C. He would seek the guidance of the prophets. D. He would turn back in fear. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Psalm, chapter 23, verse 4. Question 6. Who said to David, Thou art the man? A. Nathan. B. Uriah. C. Joab D. Saul Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Second book of Samuel, chapter 12, verse 7. And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. Question 7. What unique item did Solomon create in the temple that was not in the tabernacle? A. The molten sea. B. The golden altar. C. The menorah. D. The Veil Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And he made a molten sea, ten cubits from the one brim to the other. It was round all about, and his height was five cubits, and a line of thirty cubits did compass it round about. Second Book of Chronicles, Chapter 4, Verse 2 Question 8. Which queen visited Solomon to test his wisdom? A. Queen of Sheba B. Queen of Egypt C. Queen of Babylon D. Queen of Persia. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And when the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. First Book of Kings, Chapter 10, Verse 1 Question 9 Which of David's sons declared himself king without David's blessing? A. Absalom B. Solomon C. Adonijah D. Nathan Time to think The right answer is letter C. First book of Kings, chapter 1, verse 5. Then Adonijah the son of Haggith exalted himself, saying, I will be king. And he prepared him chariots and horsemen, and fifty men to run before him. Question 10. What did David say Goliath came at him with? A. Sword and spear. B. A chariot. C. A bow. D. Horses. Time to think.
The right answer is letter A. 1st book of Samuel chapter 17 verse 45. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Question 11. What did Solomon do to ensure peace with Egypt? A. Married Pharaoh's daughter. B. Sent gold to Pharaoh. C. Built a city for Pharaoh. D. Made a trade agreement. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And Solomon made affinity with Pharaoh king of Egypt, and took Pharaoh's daughter and brought her into the city of David, until he had made an end of building his own house, and the house of the Lord, and the wall of Jerusalem round about. First book of Kings, chapter 3, verse 1. Question 12. What was the name of Solomon's mother? A. Abigail B. Bathsheba C. Sarah D. Leah Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And Bathsheba bowed, and did obeisance unto the king. And the king said, What wouldest thou? First book of Kings, chapter 1, verse 16. Question 13. Who was David's sister? A. Michal B. Jeriote C. Zeruiah D. Bathsheba Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Chronicles 2.16 And their sisters were Zeruiah and Abigail, and the sons of Zeruiah, Abishai and Joab and Asahel. 3. Question 14. In Psalm 51, what did David ask God to create in him? A. A clean heart. B. A strong spirit. C. A wise mind. D. A faithful body. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Psalms, chapter 51, verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Question 15. What did Solomon build in the forest of Lebanon? A. A temple. B. A palace. C. A fortress. D. A garden. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. First book of Kings, chapter 7, verse 2. He built also the house of the forest of Lebanon. The length thereof was an hundred cubits, and the breadth thereof fifty cubits, and the height thereof thirty cubits, upon four rows of cedar pillars, with cedar beams upon the pillars. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, 
whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.